My birthday is tomorrow. Gonna be 25. Mm. Pretty trash. Feels pretty trash. Yeah. You're watching Anime Sundays. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Anime Sundays, the show where we talk about anime on Sundays. I am your host, Jared Ross, and I'd like to thank you all for coming back to our 30th episode. Woo! Right, 30 episodes. Been doing this show for about seven months now, and it's been a lot of fun, and I always appreciate y'all for tuning in. Just like I said, tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be 25. Whoop the fucking do. It's not a big deal, but if you are feeling generous, you can cash at me at jross99 or send anime gear. Doesn't matter if you're a meme page, promo page, apparel page, I will wear it. Send it to me. Let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> this segment of anime you should be watching goes out to another new generation anime, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga is another cultural piece anime that focuses on the times before a lot of the continents and lands on the west side of the planet were discovered. In this anime, you have a lot of references to the Vikings and the different tribes of Norway and Iceland and Greenland sailing the seas, fighting each other, you know, battling out those typical Viking wars that we heard about in our history books. He even got some references to Leif Erikson as he tells tales of his travels to the main character Thorfinn and his father Thor. Vinland Saga starts out through the main character's father Thors, who is an ex-soldier, a great warrior on the battlefield who decided to desert his army because he was just tired of killing people and tired of living a war life. Eventually his past kind of catches up to him and one of the older soldiers finds out where he's living and sets up this whole scheme to get the men in his village interested in joining this great battle overseas, I believe, for the land of Norway. Thor's kind of sees that this is an attempt to draw him back out into the battlefield while bringing men that aren't really trained to their doom as well. So Thor decides that instead he will trick his own men by leading them into what they believe to be battle, but he's actually going to drop them off at a neighboring village and country and sail to recruit his own men in the future battle that he is going to attempt. While he's out getting ready to drop his men off, he's ambushed by a hiring team of mercenaries led by a man named Askeladd, who, you know, takes them by surprise and pretty much has Thor's in a very rough predicament. What makes his predicament so shaky is his son Thorfinn, who's six years old, decided that he was tired of just listening to the stories of adventure and wanted to actually join his father out there on one of his battles. So he sneaks up on his Viking ship and voyages with him to places he's not supposed to be. During the ambush, Thor's fights Askeladd one-on-one. He defeats Askeladd in battle, but decides not to kill him and give him a chance, you know, the good old heroics of backing off and leaving them alone. But Askeladd's right-hand man takes Thorfinn, Thor's son, hostage, and Thor sacrifices his life so that Thorfinn can be saved along with the men. Of course, you know, it's very traumatic and deep for Thorfinn. He has to watch his father die before his eyes. A uh, dishonorable death, and it's, it sucks for him, basically. What I think is interesting about this plot is Thorfinn pretty much just tails the men that killed his father for years. He goes with them on pillages, because they're pirates. He goes with them to neighboring countries, he trains himself, he survives on his own, and he grows stronger and stronger as the years go by, and the mercenaries see him, they know he's following him, they know he's on their boat, they know he's, they know he's around, but they just kind of let him be. And year after year, Thorfinn re-challenges Askeladd to a duel until he believes he is strong enough to kill him. Mainly, it's called Vinland Saga because of the tales of a land out west that Leif Erikson mentioned to Thorfinn as a child, called Vinland where it's warm and there's no winter and all this other stuff, pretty much trying to describe the new world, which we would imagine later to be America. The season right now only has nine episodes. They're all pretty good. The graphics are by Wit Studio, same uh, animators as Attack on Titan. Got some good fighting in there, some good gore. I mean, Thorfinn is a thug. He went from a six-year-old little boy who just all about adventures to, you know, a killing machine. And if you want to watch it, it's not on Crunchyroll yet, but I mean, of course you can go on GoGo Anime, Kiss Anime, 
and check it out. It is one of the greater new generation shows this year. All right, y'all, so for this week's debate topic, I'm gonna keep it nice and short and simple. I know there is a lot of new seasons of anime coming out in this October. So my debate question for y'all this week is, what season are you most excited to see come out out of these two animes? Are you more excited to see the My Hero Academia season four come out this October? I got you, I get that. Or are you more excited to see the Seven Deadly Sins Season 3? For me, I'm a little bit more excited for my hero. I feel like all you manga readers have definitely hyped it up a little bit more than Seven Deadly Sins. But I am more excited to see the fights in Seven Deadly Sins as I heard they are a little bit more ridiculous than the My Hero fights. So if you are specifically excited about a new season coming out in this fall, winter coming up, whether it be My Hero or Seven Deadly Sins or another anime that you're really into, please feel free to comment below and let me know what the anime is. All right, y'all, it's Sunday. My birthday is tomorrow. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Probably just gonna go play some video games at a bar, watch some anime. Y'all pull up if y'all want. I live in ATL. DM me for the address. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in for the 30th episode. Hope to see y'all next week.